This is CBS 2 News, coverage you can count on. Well, it looks like science fiction, but it's now reality. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel shows us a first-of-its-kind bionic hand that has changed the life of a local Marine and his soon-to-be bride. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. For James Sides and Amy Detweiler, their engagement is one they will never forget. This is a nice spot. On Santa Monica Beach, watching the sunset, to seal the deal, her favorite candy. So Amy loved M&M's. So I went online and ordered some that say, will you marry me? And she sees them, she reads them, and she goes, no. I mean, yes, I mean, yes. To get to that moment was not easy. A normal couple, an extraordinary love story. I always had faith I was going to find the one that I've been waiting for. Hey, Amy, me, James. I got hurt, so I was going to call you back as soon as I can. It's my heart dropped. It was July 15th, 2012, when now retired Marine Staff Sergeant Sides was in Afghanistan, risking his life every day dismantling bombs. This time, it was booby trapped, and when I was on top of it, it detonated. <laughs> That explosion left him without his right hand. It was horrible. Amy flew every month to Walter Reed Hospital in D.C. to be by his side. His body broken, his spirit wasn't. Part of the reason he was chosen to be the first person in the world to get a first of its kind bionic hand. And it's like I have a hand again. I all three ranges of motion down. Open, close, rotate, thumb, and I can do it all simultaneous. I can just shake your hand. You might want to lighten up a little bit. <laughs> Eight sensors are implanted in the muscles just below his elbow. They pick up signals from the brain and command the movement of his hand. The prosthetic is strong enough to lift 30 pounds and sensitive enough to pick up an egg. So this is where it started, the nonprofit Alfred Mann Foundation in Santa Clarita. And it was really all about three things. This sensor, modern day robotics, and a huge desire to make a difference. The foundation CEO, Dave Hankin, on a visit to Walter Reed, saw how most prosthetics offered limited movement. If you want to move the thumb, you have to move it manually. He knew there had to be a better way, so he got his scientists on it, and the sensor, known as the IMES, was born. This, without the sensor, is as dumb as this is. It's no better than a hook, and the hook was invented in 1912. The foundation is already working to better the model, streamline it. And while it's starting with James, the hope is it will help so many others. It's going to be a huge impact for humanity, and that's why we did the project. For James and Amy, it's now about the future. But both can't help but think about what they've gone through. She was there for probably the worst part of my life, and she stayed. From here, we just get to be happy and enjoy the extra abilities that he's been given. And most important for James, this hand that has changed his life so much gives him one more gift on his wedding day. We'll be able to hold hands, and then I will still be able to put the ring on her finger while holding her hand with both of mine. Love of my life. Love of my life. That is fantastic. James and Amy will be married in August. James says it was an honor to be the first person to test the hand. He hopes what scientists learn from his experience will benefit others in the future.